Classmates at the Sabine Pass School are hoping their creative minds can help a fellow student. I am super excited. Isabella Miller was born without an arm and uses prosthetics. I wear it because it's cool. <laughs> and because it can help me do stuff. Director of Technology Scott Hagedorn and senior Caleb Morgan are the two spearheading the prosthetic arm project. The first thing she wanted to do is she wanted to be able to do a handstand and a mm -hmm. cartwheel. Well, if you do that with a typical plastic, it's probably going to break. Miller said she's excited that the class is making her a more durable arm because... Now I could finally practice my... Uh, Handstand. She's trying out for the school's cheerleading team next year. The sixth grader says she's gone through dozens of prosthetics, but none of them were built to last. I broke all of them because they weren't strong. So what makes this prosthetic more durable than her others? This one is actually printed with a tough PLA, which is going to be a lot more, a lot stronger than any of those types of plastics. Morgan says it starts with a bunch of measurements and a computer program. You draw out sketches. And then it, you take a 2D sketch and you can stretch it into a 3D model. In the program, we also scaled it, so I had to measure the arm that she has. Next, the class is making special accommodations for the finger and joint areas of the prosthetic arm. Whenever she bends it, the fingers stay, and whenever it goes back out, the fingers still stay. So she has to just do that to open up the hand again. Hagedorn says parents are usually hesitant to buy their child a durable prosthetic because that can cost upwards of 10,000 bucks. But there's good news for Miller's family. As long as she's in the district, she will never pay anything yeah. for that at all. It's a financial burden that is lifted for the sixth graders family and it's a class project to help a middle school student chase her dreams. Kira Sam, 12 News.